everybody, this is Francesco Abruzzino with another Rogue Rant. And what am I ranting about today, you may ask? Common Core, is it rotten to the core in Florida? Did the governor drop Common Core, or is it some whole grand illusion? Just rotten to the core is what I say. Here in Florida, a recently signed bill removes all references to Common Core from state law. And the governor has declared that the core is out in the state. But is it really out? That's my question. Our lovely governor has flip-flopped on the issue, just like Car Charlie Crist has with his party affiliations. In the past, he has been reluctant to take a stance on the standards, which he at one point supported, folks. Rather than specifically renounce the core, he prefers to say that the Florida State Standard is now 100% a Florida educational standard. Here's a quote from the governor. I like to be positive and say what I am for, not what I am against. Is he just playing word games with me? After all, don't standards that mirror the core remain in place? That's the question. The governor has responded to a growing voices of his constituents by requiring public hearings on the standards, which have resulted in nearly 100 changes and the new rebrand of the standards. Also, Florida has opted out of Common Core, the park, and instead decided to pursue testing through another company, the American Institute for Research. However, however, folks, I am here to tell you that in reality, Florida is still very much Common Core. We need the state to totally, totally, completely scrap Common Core and rewrite the state standards so that they are uh, higher than the Common Core and reflect improvements in the academy, academic I'm sorry, achievements and competitiveness with our youth. The Florida standards are actually the common core with some additional window dressing and some 98 additional items, which are mostly related to cursive writing and calculus instructions. Scott says that the Florida standard is derived from the next generation Sunshine State standard, which was derived from an earlier version of the Sunshine State standards. These standards are predated common core and are truly Florida's own standards. Again with the political answer, why? I am totally confused now. Over the last year, what once was seen by many as a small group of Tea Partiers has swelled into a statewide gathering of thousands of teachers, parents, and members of the public who say Common Core is the wrong step for the future education of the Sunshine State. The Common Core State Initiative is widely denounced for imposing confusing and unhelpful experimental teaching methods. These methods have created problems that lack essential information or make no sense whatsoever. Some 45 states and DC have so far opted Common Core standards, opted in, leaving students all around the United States puzzled over the mysterious logic and language devised in accordance with the new methods, folks. Common Core came about with insufficient public dialogue or feedback from ed experienced educators, no research, no pilot or experimental programs, and no evidence at all that a floor length list created by unnamed people attempting to standardize what is taught is a good idea. When indeed it's a bad idea, folks. Let's just ignore the fact that specific common core state standards will open up enough cans of worms to keep subject matter specialists arguing amongst themselves forever. There are some other issues with this. Standards should not be attached to the school subjects, but to qualities of the mind that I am hoping the study of school subjects promotes. The Common Core standards assume that the information kids, kids need to know is covered by one or another of the traditional core subjects. What is that saying? Never assume it makes an ass out of you and me? Look, the world changes, folks. The future is indiscernible. Clinging to static strategy in a dynamic world may be comfortable, even comforting, but it's a titanic deck chair exercise. So much orchestrated tensions being showered on common core standards, the main reason for the poor student performance is being ignored. Common core basically kills innovation. Common core standards are set up for national standardized tests. These are tests that can't evaluate complex thought. They can't avoid cultural bias. 
They can't measure nonverbal learning and they can't predict anything of consequence. The word standards gets an improving nod from the public because it means performance that meets a standard. However, the word also means like everybody else. And standardizing minds is what the standards try to do. The common core standard stated aim is for success in college and careers. That is at best pedestrian and at worst an affront. Let's not get into the data mining by the government. That's a whole nother story. I even have more issues that have to do with the quality of the education and the pursuit of the education quality isn't what's driving the present education reform farce. The bottom line is that Common Core has become part of the corporate re reform project that is now stalking our schools. As schools struggle with these new mandates, we should defend our students, our schools, and ourselves by pushing back against implement implementation timelines resisting the stakes and priorities attached to these tests, and exposing the truth about the commercial and political interests shaping this false panacea, of, uh, panacea for problems in our school, that our schools face. Here's the bottom line, folks. The bottom line is that Common Core is rotten to the core in Florida. This has been Francesco Abrazzino with another Rogue Rant.